Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Matt Latter and today we're going to continue our Council of Cathar campaign in Stellaris. So as I said at the end of the last episode, first order of business, redesigning starships. Because we do finally have a lot of highly advanced technology and we can make very good use of that. Just like that for example. No, yeah no, not like that, sadly. So, we don't actually quite have the Marauder missiles yet, but we can deal with that. So, we shall tag this with an I for Interceptor. And delete the old one. Those are gonna create actually a few new designs this time around. So, this will be the Sepher Kalein. And the Sepher Kalein will be a very aggressive ship that only has one job defend the skies so let's see we actually don't require too much energy so we can put in some armor all right i wanted to add a pd in brackets so i know what this ship is about and next I'm gonna create a corvette whose job it is to also inflict some damage on larger targets. So... Hmm. Yeah, you also get the advanced attack computer. Some of those going. A bit of shielding and some Durasteel armor. Sepair. Iranai. And this will be an A for attack craft. So Interceptor and this one should be named PD. Didn't I save? Tepericalane PD. Okay, delete the old one. Then we have our destroyer. Uh, this one is also a uh, basically interceptor. Interceptors I designate as those with primarily small um, attack uh, modules. All the upgrades please. And you gain some sweet sweet zero point energy. Perfectly enough to slot in a bit of Dura steel. Let's add a new destroyer. And this one is an attack craft. It's a pair lane. An A for attack. You gain swarmer missiles and quantum missiles. You have the proper stuff set in, okay. Zero point energy modules. Then we require the shields. Actually, we don't need that one. A small one instead. That works out perfectly. So, next we come to cruisers. The Lorath Lex uh, will get upgraded with swarmer missiles and tons of them. Also gain zero point energy. Sweet, you have a ton of armor actually. And the Lorath Lax is basically an attack craft. We can delete the old one. The Sepa Irandria is basically an interceptor cruiser. So let's update it. We have all the proper missiles there. Two point modules. And you gain Dura Steel Armor as well. And now we create a new cruiser. Oop, I forgot to scroll there. And this one will be a pure PD. Sepher. Maluk. Okay, 
all the small slots I can get. Actually, let's set a hangar in there as well. Those ships really do look nice. I have to give them that. Okay, so... Sentinel. Actually, not Sentinel, Barrier only. Uh, then we have a medium slot. Uh, let's take a quantum missile. And in here we take an improved fighter wing. Okay, uh, let's slot in the energy. There, that's already plenty good. Okay. And Dura Steel. Sweet. Now we come to our beloved battleships. So this one will not quite remain as he is. He will gain bombers advanced ones instead. Battle drives. And then we get some zero point in here. Let's actually delete everything out. So large shield. Large shield. We have 600 additional shield. Okay, that works out nicely. Let's slot in the Euro Steel. 40% armor, 1050 shields, and 2400 hull points. Oh yeah. Seper Murat. Carrier. Actually, I think we can. Yes. Slot in another. Uh, Improved bomber wing here. And that way we actually... Oh no, we don't. I thought for a moment we had more energy remaining. So that seems fine. Yep. There we go. Seper Murad, the carrier. Then we take the Seper Irath. And yeah, uh, you can have your swarm missiles, better drive, and better energy, please. Let's take out all the non-reactor thus, uh, thus stuff. I meant tank twister, and slot in a shit ton of defensive stuff. Should work out nicely enough. Yep, 1050 shields, 42% armor. Awesome. And now I need just a moment to look something up. Here we go. Because I still have the request uh, from the last campaign. And this one will be a doozy. So we take all the small slots we can gain. No hungers though. That looks kick ass. And this will be the Seper Varia. Uh, Varia is the request from uh, Bobblehead from the last campaign about basically um, Guardian Angel, I believe it was some kind of uh, thing like that. Um, what we're gonna do is turn this thing into a living battery. And it gains the advanced attack computer, so it's always up close to the enemy and can shoot down the missiles before they reach our soft targets. He also has two swarmer missiles for very much uh, close-up power. And... Yeah, we give him two quantum missiles. Yeah, the quantum missiles are just very great. So, let's slot in the zero point energy. And gain those shields up in here. There, that works. There we go. 
The Sepher Varia. BD slash A. Okay, so that's about 10 minutes spent to finally create the ships as we want them. And this will be basically our baseline from which to work for the future. So, our upgrade will cost us uh, 2100 uh, minerals, but I think we can easily spare that. So let's see into which classes they get upgraded. We have predictive algorithms. Oh wow. I'm stupid, should have waited that uh, minute. Oh well. Let's go up and research the physics lab upgrades. So we have all the research lab upgrades there. So let's do a very quick uh, upgrade here. Because those Guardian PDs are just so much better. Makes me doubly happy I marked them. So we need a small one here. Okay, let's just deal with the extra power. It'll give some small bonuses here and there. And lastly, a cruiser, yes. We upgrade the Sepher Varia. So, a tiny bit less armor, but instead all the more kick ass. And now the upgrade already costs 400 minerals more. System survey complete. Should tell you something about how powerful those point defense things are. Okay, anyways, we're working down here to expand our territory massively in one fell swoop. And we're doing very nicely with that. Let's check if any sectors require some resource input. And no, they do not. They're actually doing very well. Colony established. Actually, let's switch the surplus sector. It doesn't give me so much energy anyways. To research focus. A lot of stuff getting done. Now we're close to getting Helam into our border. Scientist level up. Good. And the fleet is being upgraded as we speak. That is already one massive fleet. <laughs> and it's gonna grow a lot more powerful. Couple years upgrading. I'm okay with that. So long as no war looms nearby. Yeah. All is well. Once I've seen into what kinds of classes System they survey. upgraded, uh, I'll do go ahead. I will go ahead and fill out the um uh what's it called? I'm currently lacking a word, and that's very annoying. Basically, uh, those ships we don't have yet. And sometimes... English hard. Oh, uh, you're not System in our borders yet. Alright, Achimar. I forgot that I want to build some stuff here. Let's clear that up, and once that's cleared... Yeah, 100 days, 3 months and a bit. We will build our uh, frontier outpost there. Anything else we can do out here? Uh, actually, we could go ahead... Was it Marath, the lizard people planet? No, that was the Pelerians. Uh... Beltor, maybe? Nope. No, Isaac was uh, those uh, pretty awesome guys. Yeah, the Maltics. Where were the others? Ah. There is? No, don't think so. Holy shit, where is it? I'm going crazy. Okay, let me quickly check. Snake hordes. 
Where are you guys? On one planet in the galaxy. Oh, Hamcard. Hey, Hamcard. There we go. See, it's not that hard. So yeah, um... Armies, please. Just so we have enough uh, forces left uh, when we need them. And the border outpost is constructed. Nice, everything linked up. That is one beautiful thing to behold. So, go here and here. Once you're done here, okay. Kefoth has nothing in it. That's one shitty planet. System survey complete. Construction complete. Uh, Ultrax point ethic changes. Sweeping changes in the way of the primitive Oginaloxi since we began aggressively observing members of their species. Uh, they are now, I think. Where is it? Xenophobe. Yeah. Oh well. Right, that was the thing where they built uh, two massive pyramids. For giggle shits and lols, apparently. And the Otaga and the Glirans. Otaga and Glirans went into a non aggression pact. Hmm. Oh well. So you're still at war. And those hegemony guys really suck. Maybe their AI bugged out somewhere? Honestly, if this continues for much longer, I'll just declare war myself. Maybe even on the hegemony guys, since they suck so much. But we still wait a little bit with that. <coughs> More proto-civilizations, which we do not give a shit about. Just some cavemen running around. Research oh! Complete. Finally, they've made peace. System survey complete. Also, the secrets of life have been revealed. We can now build massively good biolabs. And terrestrial sculpting, which is nice. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So what, white peas or what? Wow, they got vassalized. Fuck you, hegemony. Fuck you. Oh well, you are then my goal down here. Basically close the gap here. So you're still equivalent to me? You are. That will change, believe you me. down here we need some building changes build me a basic mine here and a science lab here basic power plant here and then clean up all of the planet blockers please there we go Akamar is doing okay so we build the where is it frontier clinic and then well, there's a lot of space that's not gonna get used all that well. We lack food out here. That definitely. Which reminds me. Orbital hydroponics farm, please. And off we go. System survey complete. Well, we've certainly stretched ourselves out out here. Research when? 18 months until terrestrial sculpting. Ships upgraded. And our fleet is upgraded. We are now 26k strong. So now we can move up here finally. Construction complete. Take care of that situation. Then Mesa Prime has finished more construction on the surface. That's all fine and dandy. How long until you go? 19 months. 
By the time this pop unit... Okay, we don't have enough local pop units. Damn. Because I want it filled with population so I can finally upgrade it uh, to the... Not Plan Trade Administration, what's it called? Uh, where is it? Yeah. Uh, we want to upgrade it to the planetary capital. Names are hard as usual for me. Okay, stuff's been built down here, so System survey complete. yeah, waiting time. Look at them go. That is one massive fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. Holy balls! <laughs> Situation log updated. Yeah. Holy frack. Oh right, so they upgraded all my cruisers to PD cruisers. So let's let's take a look. Uh, Interceptor class Corvette, so that's fine. Then we have, all right, the um, very small battleship. That's not a battleship. Then we have uh, the tech destroyers. Uh, can I get a look at them real quick? All right, that's the ones with swarmer and medium quantum missiles. That explains the amount of bombers and missiles. And then we have a whole lot of PD cruisers, so we don't need much PD. We have uh, two L-class battleships and two carrier-class battleships. Okay, so basically we need uh, a lot of direct attack. Okay. Spaceport. About eight destroyers. And cruisers, yeah. Wow, we just spent a shit ton of money. Then again, That's nothing fine. will bother okay. us ever again. And <laughs> at least not uh, neutral enemy wise. Ah, and governor died. Oh, of the science conclave even. Or Tixash, I believe. Hmm. Let's see if we can recruit someone who's good with science. No, we still cannot. Those leaders suck balls. All of them. I don't want them. Let's hire one. Immediately dismiss him. Then see if we get... Yes! Sweet! That's gonna help massively. And let's look at the science conclave sector. Building cost guy. Well, he's not the worst, so we take it. Okay, and we continue. Situation log updated. That was some massive upgrading this episode. <sighs> so many bombers. Complete. Okay, we have Mesa Prime surface construction done. All right, all the upgrades. Out here we're still waiting. Not much longer though. And this is actually going nice as well. Let's build a droid here. And nothing big out here. Uh, the Boxeran Coalition and the Republic of Imothor have entered into a migration treaty. Well, if you want. Situation log updated. System survey complete. Hostile fleet engaged. And we engage more hostile fleets with shit tons of bombers. Actually, ah, we can somewhat take a close look. Holy shit, that's just silly. Situation log updated. Wow. Yeah, that's insane. Wow. 
Hostile fleet engaged. It'll be interesting to see how good we fare against the others when we fight them, if they have strong point defense or not. Situation if they don't have strong point updated. defense, they're dead. Guaranteed dead. We actually took damage. 48. Wow. One more crystalline Hostile entity group, engaged. and then they're System done. Survey complete. And yeah. Oh! Their fleet power is equivalent compared to ours. Situation Interesting. Updated. Research complete. Hey, we have terraforming. Finally. Oh, finally. That's what I wanted. Xenosus. Then we can finally make use of our shit ton of alien pets. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. And we have a science ship with nothing to do. You, my friend, continue to explore deeper into the territory of these guys over here. There we go. Construction complete. Ahimar finished more construction work. It's always good. And since you've just finished that, let's go ahead and order you to clear up your planet completely. And there we go. Yeah, they're still working. So once one of these populants is done, 10 months, and then we can upgrade the ship shelter here. More border range. Sweet, sweet border range. System survey complete. Getting a bit of a better picture about those guys as well. 258 population. 19 planets. Science ship with nothing to do, again. So let's send you out to do more exploring. Who would have thought? There we go. And actually at this point I'm gonna call this episode uh, to its end for today. I do thank you all for watching and hope you've had some fun. If you did, consider commenting, liking or subscribing. Remember, you've seen all the ship upgrades. You can always request a name if you want to. Just leave a comment and I'll see if I can oblige. Not if, but I will. And yeah. Uh, again, if you had some fun, consider commenting, liking, or subscribing. Also follow me on Twitter at underscore MetLetter for the news updates. And that's it from me for today. Thank you all for watching. See you the next time.